Synology has just made a major announcement today concerning their support for third-party drives moving forward. And if you have been under a rock or don't know what I'm talking about, back in April of 2025, Synology basically made an announcement saying that on their 25 series, they aren't going to let you use whatever hard drives you want. You will only be able to use hard drives from their support or from their list of verified drives which essentially was only their branded drives. And that pissed a lot of people off, like a lot of people. And they've been, I guess, trying to figure out what to do since then. And today they made an announcement. So let's dive into that and see what it says. So this is their statement that they released. And this is concerning uh, Disk Station Manager 7.3. This isn't like just specifically talking about their drive policy moving forward, but that's gonna be what everyone focuses in on. So let's just go right into that section. I'll actually read the intro just so we can get the vibe of everything here. Uh, Synology today announced the release of Disk Station Manager DSM 7.3, delivering enhanced storage flexibility and efficiency, <laughs> uh, strength and security and reliability, and new productivity features. As data grows rapidly, advanced solutions are needed to manage process and unlock its full value, says Kenneth Sue, director of the system group at Synology. DSM 7.3 helps customers confidently address evolving data management challenges on a platform that is secure, reliable, and ready to support AI transformation. I thought we were going to make it through the intro without AI. We didn't. So blah, 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 blah. There's four sections here. It's not a very big press release, but this is going to be... Uh, what everyone focuses in on here, expanded storage flexibility. As part of its mission statement, Synology is committed to delivering reliable, high performance storage systems. It would be very weird if they didn't. This commitment has led to a standardized process of rigorous testing and validation for both hardware and software components and has been an integral part of Synology's development approach for many years. Both Synology, storage drives, and components validated through the third-party program undergo uniform testing processes to ensure that they are able to provide the highest levels of reliability with DSM. Great. Synology is currently collaborating closely with third-party drive manufacturers to accelerate the testing and verification of additional storage drives and will announce more updates as soon as possible. In the meantime, 25 model year disk station plus value and j series running dsm 7.3 will support the installation and storage pool creation of non-validated third-party drives this provides users with greater flexibility while synology continues to expand the lineup of officially verified drives that meet long-term reliability standards and then in here, you just have some more technical updates to DSM uh, 7.3, some AI stuff that no one cares about. This is what you guys care about. So again, there wasn't a lot there, but I think the main point was there that a lot of people were hoping to see. Now I have some notes written down here. So if I look down, I'm, I'm reading off of my bullet points that I wanted to talk about. So initial reaction to this, um, great. They're, they're saying on the 25 model year, all the entire lineup, you'll be able to run third-party drives. Great, I think that's a step in the right direction, but again, you're not getting a pat on the back for me for fixing what you yourself messed up. That's not how this works. I'm not gonna give you a round of applause for, for writing that wrong. And if we're going even further, they're not committing to saying that you can install all third-party drives moving forward but they're also not saying that you won't be able to this is strictly for the 25 series what happens in the 26 series who knows i'm not even going to speculate on that but let's back up and talk about why this happened and what is actually happening right now so if you haven't seen my channel ever uh, you don't even know who i am uh, I've created Synology content. I use Synology in my home lab. I've done videos sponsored by Synology. I've done videos that weren't sponsored by Synology. At this point, I have cut off all content on my channel from when they made that announcement. I don't do any Synology branded content because this that announcement just rubbed people the wrong way. It rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't like it. I didn't agree with it. No content. But in the last few weeks, uh, Synology rep has reached out to me 
and said, hey, can we sit down and talk about this moving forward? I have some information on what's happening and I'd like to explain why we did what we did. So I sat down and talked with them um, and I think it was a pretty good talk. So essentially why, why did this happen? The whole thing comes down to reliability. Uh, I was told that Synology was having issues where users were calling in and reporting issues with their Synology devices where they're losing their data. After some research, it was determined that, you know, users are running faulty drives. They're running old drives. Maybe they went on eBay, found some really crappy drives, threw them in their Synology, didn't have a proper backup, lost their drives or lost their data, called up Synology, said, what the heck, dude? Your, your device sucks. I'm never buying Synology again. I can't believe I lost my data. So Synology said, you know what? How about we do this? How about we say, we'll only allow reliable drives. We'll only let people run the most reliable drives on our devices. That way, you know, we don't have to deal with customers being mad that they lost their data. Customers don't have to be upset that they lost their data. Everyone wins. Everyone knows that's not what happened, right? The initial plan was to gather this big list of verified drives that they were deemed reliable and say, here you go, here's all the ones that are good to go. As long as you're not installing like really crappy drives, you're fine. They reached out to uh, third party drive manufacturers, partnered with them to say, here's our testing process. Can you get these drives validated and verified for us? And what I was told would happen, essentially what made this kind of snowball was that the announcement was released and was told to go live before any of the testing was even remotely complete. So essentially, it was like, hey, this is what we're gonna do, but wait, the only verified drives right now are our own drives. It was supposed to be that there was gonna be this big old list of verified drives, and obviously there were gonna be some people that were upset, but at least you'd have this giant list of drives that you could use moving forward. But they listened to feedback and they said, you know what, obviously this didn't go as planned. Let's essentially delay this, because that's kind of what it sounds like they're saying on the 25 model series. This isn't going to be an effect, but we're still working. Um, let me see, what's the exact words here? This provides users greater flexibility while Synology continues to expand the lineup of officially verified drives that meet long-term reliability standards. What they do with that verified list for the 26 models, I don't know. So I get it. I get it from Synology's perspective. They want to be the face of reliability. They don't want to be associated with people losing their data. So they wanted to create this standard where if you're using our product, you're gonna be using reliable drives. It's like going to buy a car and then trying to put on really crappy tires on it and them saying, no, you actually, can you please pick from our uh, verified tires here that won't rippity do die you off the road and kill you and um, eventually leading to a lawsuit for us. That may have been a bit extreme, but you get it. I also get it from the consumer perspective. If you buy something, you should be able to do whatever the hell you want with it, right? I totally get that. As a consumer, I'm on that side. Um, if it were up to me, I would love to see Synology say, you know what, we, you, we, we approach this wrong. We're gonna create a verified list of drives, but at the end of the day, you can put whatever you want on it. And I'm hoping that's what they do but I don't know. And I think the big thing is there is a fine line between Synology saying you can only use certain drives where on one side they're saying you can only use our super expensive Synology branded drives and that's it. No other drives will work on our systems versus them saying, hey, um, just don't use a 20 year old Western digital three terabyte green drives, okay? Cause those kind of suck, so don't, so don't use those. There's a line there and that line is probably gonna be their verification list. How strict they are on that, I have no idea. Again, I'm speculating, I'm hoping they're reasonable with it. I'm hoping they don't even put a hard lock on it. Again, we'll see. But that's it, this video is probably way too long, but I wanted to just turn the camera on and talk about this press release because I know it's gonna be a hot topic for the foreseeable future. And until there's any further updates from Synology on the topic, I know a lot of people are watching this. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments, have they earned your business back? Yes or no, what are your general opinions on this? I'd love to hear it, but yeah, that's it. 
hope it was entertaining. Hope it was uh, useful information. See you next time.